Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about computing for the length of the confidence interval. So, yung nakikita natin is that is the table for level of confidence and the corresponding confidence coefficient. So, itong 99% na nakikita nyo, that is the level of confidence or 0.99%. And yung corresponding confidence coefficient niya is 2.58. So, ito yung, uh, yung, yung sa last uh, row natin, that is the confidence coefficient. Yung corresponding confidence coefficient nung nasa taas natin, nung level of confidence. Ito ay gagamitin natin mamaya para sa pag-solve ng mga problems. Okay? The margin of error is the range of values above and below the given statistical number or sample in confidence interval. So, using this formula, and this is uh, this symbol is that is the confidence coefficient. So, nakadepende siya sa binigay na level of confidence. So, n is the sample size where n so ito is the sample size. And sabi ko nga, itong symbol nito that is the confidence coefficient. Oh, and also, this one, that is the population standard deviation. So, ma masusolve lang natin. Okay, makukuha natin yung margin of error kapag uh, given yung tatlong ito. Okay, so let's try. Joan owns a jewelry store. She used uh, 150 pairs of earrings as her samples for the different designs. The population standard deviation of the price of the earrings is 65 pesos. Suppose that Joan wants a 98% level of confidence to determine the mean price of all her, uh, her earrings she is selling. So, compute the margin of error of her estimate. So, Ang kukunin lang natin dito is the margin of error. So, kanina pinakita ko yung formula no, na gagamitin natin. So, first step, we are going to write the given data. So, ano yung mga given data natin sa problem? First is the degree of confidence or the confidence coefficient. Ngayon, paano natin nakuha yung 2.33? Since uh, 98% level of confidence, so yung corresponding uh, confidence coefficient niya is 2.33. So, makikita natin yan doon sa table na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Okay? And then, the standard deviation or the population standard deviation is 65. And the sample size is 150. So, after this, apply the formula and substitute the given data. So, using the formula, substitute lang natin. So, that is 2.33 times the quantity of 65 over square root of 150. And that is equal to 12.37. So, remember, kapag kukunin natin yung margin of error, so, round off the final answer in 2 decimal places. Okay, so lagi nyo tatandaan yan ha. Round off the final answer into decimal places. Kapag sa final answer. Okay? So, you can use calculator to uh, compute the margin of error. So, uh, based sa mga previous video lesson natin, makukuha natin yung length of confidence interval. So, ano yung mga concept na dapat natin tandaan? So, using the confidence interval, so paano natin uh, pre-present yung sagot natin sa pagkuha ng confidence interval? Pwede natin i-present yung sagot natin using the uh, population mean is greater than the lower limit but less than the upper limit. Or, we can write in this way. Okay? Also, the lower limit and upper limit. So, na-discuss na rin natin yan sa previous video lesson natin bago itong ko uh, finding the length of confidence interval. So, paano nga ulit kukunin yung lower limit at upper limit? So, si lower limit, makukuha natin kap, uh, given the sample mean minus the value of margin of error. So, kailangan given yung sample mean para makuha natin yung lower limit. And yung E natin, that is the margin of error. Kanina yung sinolve natin, that is 
yung letter E no sa previous presentation that is the margin of error. Next is the upper limit. So yung upper limit naman sample mean plus the margin of error. So paano natin kukunin how to compute the length of confidence interval? Okay, so madali lang class since pag nakuha natin ang yung upper at lower limit, so ang pagkuha ng length of confidence interval ay isa-subtract lang natin, no? Si upper limit minus lower limit. Okay, so ganun lang ang pagkuha ng length of confidence interval. How about if the sample mean is not given? So we cannot compute for the upper and lower limit of the confidence interval. So the formula can be used is... Okay, two times the uh, corresponding of degree, the level of confidence or two times the confidence coefficient, yung corresponding uh, degree of, or the degree of confidence or yung tinatawag natin na uh, confidence coefficient. Okay, or pwede rin naman na two times E na lang, no? Kasi itong formula na to, this is the formula for the margin of Error. Okay, so we can use this formula. Okay, apply natin how to find the length of confidence interval. So the population of Sulu, hornbill, so one of the endangered bird species in the Philippines, so it has a standard deviation of 40. So compute for the length, okay, first uh, you are going to compute for the length of confidence interval for a 90% confidence level, having a sample size of 150 and a sample mean of 65. Okay, first, okay, write the given data. So, what are the given data? First is the sample mean that is 65. And then the confidence coefficient or the corresponding confidence coefficient is 1.645 since that is 90% 90% confidence level. So, para hindi kayo mahirapan kunin yung corresponding uh, confidence coefficient, uh, isulat nyo sa notebook nyo o sa papel yung table na pinakita ko kanina. Okay? And then, the standard deviation is 40 and the sample size is 150. So, after natin makuha yung given data, so, we are going to use the uh, apply the formula for the margin of error. So, substitute lang natin lahat ng given data. So, that is 1.645 times the quantity of 40 over square root of 150. And the answer is 5.37. So, uh, ibig sabihin, the margin of error natin is 5.37. So, after that, kukunin natin ang upper and lower limit of confidence interval. So, paano kunin yung upper and lower limit of confidence interval? Okay, first, yung lower limit, sample mean minus margin of error. So, ano yung sample mean natin? Yung value ng sample mean, that is 65 minus 5.37. And the answer is 59.63. Upper limit, that is the sample mean plus the margin of error. So, that is 65 plus 5.37 and that is equal to 70.37. Since nakuha na natin yung lower and upper limit natin, makukuha na natin ngayon yung length of confidence interval for 90% confidence level. And that is, so... Upper limit minus lower limit. So, the answer is 70.37 minus 59.63. The answer is 10.74. Okay. So, may another way rin. No? Paano na makuha yung... Uh, para makumpute ito, yung 10.74. Since uh, nakumpute na natin yung margin of error, so, pwede natin hindi na gawin ito. Kunin yung lower and upper limit. So, kanina, di ba, pinakita ko yung isang formula na pagkuha ng uh, length of confidence interval that is 2 times E or 2 times the margin of error. So, pwedeng kapag nakuha natin ito, uh, proceed na tayo doon. Makukuha na natin yung length of confidence interval. So, another example, the average price of 350 cell phones, 13,500 pesos with a sample standard deviation 
of 750 pesos. So, letter A, find the 99% confidence interval of the true average price of the cell phones. And, interpret your answer in the context of this problem. Letter B, find all the length of confidence interval. So, first, of course, kailangan natin kunin yung mga given data. And that is, first is the sample mean. So, uh, dito kasi binigay na na dito the average price of 350 cell phones. So, yung average price that is 13,500. And then, the corresponding confidence coefficient sa 99% natin. So, sasagutan muna natin yung letter A. No? Uh, yung 99% natin is 2.58. And then, the standard deviation is 750 pesos. And the sample size is 350. So, after that, compute, compute the margin of error. And by substituting the all the given data na kailangan natin dun sa formula. Okay, so ito yung formula natin. Substitute lang natin. So, that is 2.58 times the quantity of 750 over square root of 350 and the answer is 103.43. So, that is the margin of error. Now, uh, sabi kasi sa letter A, kunin daw natin yung confidence interval of the true average price of the cell phone. So, paano natin makukuha yan? Kailangan natin kunin yung lower and upper limit. So, the lower limit is 13,500 since uh, that is the sample mean. Minus the margin of error, which is 103.43. So, the answer is 13,396.57 pesos. So, ito yung lower limit natin. And yung upper limit naman natin, that is 13,500 plus 103.43 is equal to 13,603.43. So, ito ngayon yung upper limit natin. So, ang tanong, what is the 99 or uh, 99 confidence interval of the true average price of the cell phone. So, using the lower and upper limit, the 99% confidence interval is between or lies between 13,396.57 pesos to 13,603.43. So, ibig sabihin, that we are, so yun yan sabi ko kanina, that the 99% confident that the average price of cell phones lies between 13,396.57 pesos to 13,603.43 pesos. So for letter B, since pinapakuha sa atin yung length of the confidence interval, so Minus lang naman yan, no? upper limit minus lower limit. So, that is 13,603.43 minus 13,396.57. The answer is 206.86 pesos. So, this is the length of the confidence interval. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.